India will be hosting a high-level security dialogue on Afghanistan on the 10th of November. That's tomorrow. All Central Asian countries are going to be attending this meeting. Chairing it will be India's National Security Advisor, Ajit Doval. All regional powers are participating, but two countries have decided to skip this dialogue. Do you have any guesses? I'm talking about Pakistan and China. These two countries are better off with the crisis in Afghanistan. They don't want to be part of the solution. Our next report tells you why. India is hosting a dialogue on Afghanistan. The venue is New Delhi. The date, 10th of November. The dialogue will be at the level of national security advisors. The focus will be on regional security. India's NSA, Hajid Duval, will be chairing the meeting. In attendance will be all Central Asian nations. Iran, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan. What about Afghanistan's immediate neighbor, Pakistan? It will skip the meeting. So will its all-weather friend, China. Why? Because they would rather profit from the Afghan crisis than engage in a solution-oriented discussion. The meeting, like we mentioned, will focus on regional security. There will be talks on radicalism, extremism, the Taliban's ideology, problems of the arms cash that the Taliban now has access to. Countries will also talk about Afghan refugees, exports of drugs from Afghanistan, cross-border migration and, of course, cross-border terror. Participants will look for solutions to tackle these threats. How will Pakistan and China contribute to this discussion? They happen to be two of the biggest threats to regional security. Here's what Pakistan has decided to do instead. Prepare for a bilateral. Do you know with who? Afghanistan's acting foreign minister, terrorist masquerading as statesman, Amir Khan Mutaki. He is a listed terrorist, and Pakistan has sent him a special invitation. Mutaki has happily accepted. Our world today is divided on Afghanistan. There are two factions. The first is looking for a solution to the Afghan crisis. The second is looking for profit. The first has India and others. The second has Pakistan and China. Both Islamabad and Beijing have been maintaining close contacts with the Taliban. The terror group's takeover of Kabul has given Pakistan its strategic depth. A proxy it always dreamt of, as long as the Taliban and the homegrown Haqqani network flourish in Afghanistan. Pakistan has a chance of keeping groups like Tariq et Taliban Pakistan in check, or in talking terms. What about China? The Taliban is China's access card to Afghanistan's resources. It has set its eyes on Afghanistan's minerals. Deposits worth $3 trillion, from lithium to gold. In a fair world, China would have to compete for the mines, markets and mineral deposits. But in Taliban's Afghanistan, China can just throw money. There is no law or order or protocol. So it's hardly surprising that China likes this arrangement. It gets to cash the chaos, expand its belt and road. Pakistan and China stand to lose out if order is restored in Afghanistan. So they would rather make frequent trips to Kabul. Tete a tete with Taliban leaders. Instead of boarding a flight to India, China has bailed citing scheduling reasons. It's not like video links don't exist anymore. As for Pakistan, it has not even tried coming up with an excuse. By the way, this security dialogue started in 2018. Iran was the host in 2018 and 2019. Now it is India. India has already spent over $3 billion rebuilding Afghanistan. It is now calling for a unified international response to address the security and humanitarian challenges in Afghanistan. Bureau Report, we on. World is one.
Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.